So last time uh, we kind of talked about the UCR, um, there's also something that comes about that is called NIBRS. So NIBRS is the National um, Incident-Based uh, Reporting System. And basically what this starts out with is that it uses base data from UCR It also um, adds more crimes. I'm gonna say approximately about 23 or so, and gives a wealth of information that um, is not really seen with UCR. So when we think about NIBRS, here and we know that it because it focuses on an incident you know it's looking at you know like an event right so which I, I guess is maybe kind of redundant but point being is that it's looking at everything that happens uh in one like little go so when you have this incident right you know so there is uh like a crime and in it there are actions and attributes about it Right, so I get well. Let me let me erase this. This is a better way, right? So we'll take that out. So when we talk about like an incident, there's a lot of things that are uh, interrelated to it, right? So we have an incident, and attached to it, right? You know, we know we have a victim as one part. We know there are offenders. We have the characteristics of both the victim offender. We know weapons involved, if any. If it is gang related, uh, accomplices. So all these things are part of something that can go in into an incident, right? We also know how many crimes, you know, may occur in one incident. So like if it's like a uh, murder robbery, you know, there's a robbery and then the actual uh, murder uh, comes up. Um, we know if things are related to gang activity, uh, time of day, uh, week, year. Um, you know, so like all this, all these different things are part of it. Um, if it was, you know, re report like what time it was reported to police, how many police officers, you know, characteristics about all this. And so what this again gives us is information. So the main advantage of NIBRS equals more information. So if you have this more information, you have a better, uh, excuse me, we'll cross that out, better inference about the world. And so with that, you can make, you know, have a better sense of things. You can develop policies and procedures that are better suited to tackle uh, problems associated with a certain problem because you have that much more nuance, right? It's also good, but it's, you know, more work, but it pays off. And, but yet, no, also, it's still on uh, reported data. So these are crimes, you know, that are known to police um, you know, that aren't really, uh, like, uh, so you still have to have, if you don't have crimes that are known to police, then it's not a really good counting of what's happening. But in something else, this is that, whoops, historically then, you know, this was actually kind of poor because there was not a lot of, there weren't a lot of police agencies that were certified to collect these kinds of data or report it. So the historically poor, uh, 
participation or participation from police departments. But I think in either 2021 or 2023, one of those two, NIBRs will only be accepted and no longer um, and no longer use UCR, which is actually like pretty surprising uh, because we're gonna have like such a better wealth of data uh, coming in. Uh, so this is something that's actually like pretty exciting uh, to come in. So we'll go ahead and end this here since we talked about NIBRs, we already 